Breaking news, images coming in as we come on the air, an attack on a hotel popular with Westerners. These are the images coming in from the capital of Burkina Faso in West Africa. Eyewitnesses describing a horrific scene, gunmen, their heads covered, shooting into the air, then storming into the hotel. Cars ablaze at this hour, gunfire heard in the streets. And now reports of possible hostages inside that hotel and a warning now from the U.S. Embassy to any Americans in the region. Let's get right to ABC senior justice correspondent Pierre Thomas in Washington tonight. Pierre. David, it's a dangerous situation unfolding in that West African country, part of a new wave of terror. Hey. The horror began just after 7.30 p.m. local time, multiple gunmen storming the splendid hotel in downtown Ouagadougou. Amid the gunfire, reports of two car bombs detonating, people running for their lives. French news agencies tonight saying at least 20 have been slaughtered in the assault. Authorities engaged the assailants in a pitched gunfight that went on for hours. The situation is still fluid, but the early word is that all American embassy and military personnel in the area have been accounted for. There was a similar attack in nearby Mali just two months ago, killing 20 as well. This week has been a bloody one. Tonight's assault is the third terror attack in four days, targeting Western nationals. Tonight, an al-Qaeda affiliate is claiming credit for the carnage. U.S. citizens and embassy personnel are being told to stay away from downtown, and a curfew has been imposed. The situation's still dangerous. David? Pierre Thomas will be staying on this story into the night. Pierre, thank you.